Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be looking at more prayers of the faith, and this time, St. Patrick's Prayer. This prayer is said to have been written by St. Patrick himself, making it over 1,500 years old. However, it still works just fine as a prayer today. May the strength of God pilot us. We pray that we will be guided by God in the path that we take through our lives. May the power of God preserve us. Indeed, the power of God is needed to preserve our continued existence, as it says in Psalm 103, 104 in the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, verse 29. May the wisdom of God instruct us. For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, 1 Corinthians 1, 25. May the hand of God protect us. Ezekiel 3.14 uses the term the hand of God to refer to the Holy Spirit. May the way of God direct us. Numerous verses in the Psalms refer to the way or ways of the Lord, as well as other parts of the Old Testament. We want to follow the way of God rather than the way of man, because according to Proverbs 14.12, the way of man leads to death. As for the way of God, we call him Jesus. As he says in John 14.6, Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. May the shield of God defend us. Ephesians 6.16 says that this is a shield of faith, which we can use to extinguish all the darts of the evil one. May the host of God guard us. Many verses talk about the protection of angels, but I especially like Psalm 33.8, as it's counted in the Douay Rheims Bible. The angel of the Lord shall encamp round about them that fear him, and shall deliver them. Against the snares of the evil ones. Asking for protection from evildoers in this way may be a reference to Psalm 140, verse 9 in the Douay Rheims Bible. Against temptations of the world. Though it's rare to be tempted by the world itself, other people and evil spirits in the world often tempt us to sin, so we ask for the angels to protect us from them. May Christ be with us. May Christ be before us. We ask that Jesus will be really present among us, leading us onward from the front. May Christ be in us. This may be a reference to Jesus encouraging us to obey his commands, but I like to think of it as a reference to the Eucharist, the time when Jesus is truly both with us and in us. Christ be over all. Not over as in higher in physical altitude, but rather higher in authority and rulership. May thy salvation, Lord, always be ours. Probably the most important point, the salvation of souls. This day, O Lord, and evermore. Amen. Finally, we pray that we'll have these things forever. This prayer is a long series of petitions where we request many things from Jesus, but in the end, plead once again for heaven. Next time, what's the meaning of St. Augustine's prayer to our Almighty Father? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.